Hey. Hey, hey, stranger. Look who's here. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm doing well. Welcome back, American Whiskey Experience, Pete yeah. and James. Yeah. Drinking yeah. whiskey. Drinking whiskey. And uh, wow, it's, it's been I, what? It's six it's, months since we've done yeah, this? Yeah, a while. A while. Yeah. And I hear you all are getting some snow today, too, huh? Yeah, we are. The, for those uh, watching, uh, we will be getting some snow up in here in Connecticut. And you're probably wondering, what, what does he mean we're getting snow? Isn't he yeah. getting snow too? No, nope. no, no snow, snow in Texas, that's for sure. <laughs> no uh, snow in Texas. No, looks uh, like as, it's, as, yeah, it's as about 50 knows, degrees here. <laughs> yeah, you lucky bastard. No, compl no complaints. Uh, no complaints. Yep. As everyone knows, um, I know one of our last videos and talking, we, we mentioned that Pete was moving down to Texas. And uh, well, he's been there for six months. And that's why yeah. you really haven't seen anything from us in six months, right? Yeah, yeah, it's been a little, a little hiatus, but we, we yeah. wanted to do this again. We obviously enjoy doing it, enjoy talking about whiskey, having some fun, having some drinks. So uh, we wanted to get back to it. So this is, uh, this is the uh, the reintroduction of American Whiskey Experience. That's right, so, and don't forget, yeah. as you see in the ticker, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at AmericanWhiskey.com yeah. uh, for all that information there. Our email address too is American Whiskey. Uh, experience at gmail.com, uh, Instagram, Facebook. So let's yeah. get that out of the way. YouTube. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is a new, yeah. new uh, format for us. So it's going to be kind of like a review, talking about some whiskey, just having some samples, some tastings uh, with of, this program. You know, too. Even sharing like a little sharing of like the scene and he, you know, down here and the scene there, what's going on. Just talking yeah. about things changing and, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely a little different, you know? So, yeah. uh, yeah, you have a lot of uh, a lot of whiskey down there that we can't get. Yeah, and, uh, which is kind of you know, neat. Just different things, you know, barrel picks that you guys get down there. Uh, some of the stores that you have down there are huge. Um, yeah, they do some great picks and um, yeah. a lot of allocated stuff down there. Yeah, um, definitely, uh, definitely a little different way they do things. But uh, yeah, again, it's just a lot of a lot of different different uh, different whiskeys to try, and, and and the allocations are different too, which is kind of neat and kind of see. Um, a lot more stuff like on the shelves that you didn't necessarily see in Connecticut. Like I was telling you, I mean, I see Buffalo Trace, Weller Special Reserve on the shelf frequently yep. at a very, very cheap price. Yeah, so uh, that's that's interesting because uh, we don't. <laughs> no, I mean you, Buffalo, you get Trace, Buffalo Trace here and there on the store books. Twenty four bucks, you know. Yeah. Special Reserve is twenty three, twenty four bucks. You see the Magnums too. You see the big bottles too. Yeah, see it all the time. You see those once in a while, and they're about a hundred bucks or so or more. Uh, it's crazy up here, as you know. Um, you know, they're fair, one per customer, but like they're they're out there, and it's yeah. not like you got to look it too far. So, True. Good. So. All right. Well, uh, we're using a program called StreamYard, which is uh, something that we're we're testing and using right now, and it seems like it's going to work out well for us. Uh, yeah. So we're still learning on our end, but what's nice about this too, Pete, is that we could add up to ten users or guests oh, to come God. on. And we could do like a, a gathering, a whiskey gathering, and talk about you know different things in the whiskey world um, and sample some whiskeys all together. So that's going to be Ooh. neat as we progress into this program, uh, adding uh, guest speakers and stuff like that, and, and invites. Like a, maybe even like a virtual happy hour. That's exactly it. That's uh, going to be great. Not a, bad thing. not a bad thing at all. Yeah. So, so all right. So cool. hey, you sent We're me some samples uh, a while back, and I've, I did. <laughs> I. Looked at them every day and wanted to <laughs> open them up and drink them, but uh, right, right, we hold it out. We could do this. So together. we are uh, we are sipping on um, a product that's kind of local to me. Um, this yeah. is Lone Elm. It is a a Texas straight wheat whiskey. Um, it's a honey yeah. barrel finished. It's a wow. hundred and hundred eight proof, and this is batch nine. So look, Lone Elm is about a half hour for me, and they they do some some craft craft whiskey. Um, I believe they do a a vodka as well. Yeah, uh, I saw that. But I did see a couple things they were doing. Um, uh, they had a couple cat strengths offering. Uh, they had their regular uh, regular Texas bourbon. But the hun the honey finish I thought was kind of neat, and someone had recommended it. Said, you know, it's really not that syrupy sweet honey finish. Right. Um, so I decided to give it a whirl and, and send it up to you. And yeah, I kind of enjoy yeah. it. I, I went on their website. Um, you know, every sample you sent me, some I you know, some I obviously know, but can't get up here. Mm -hmm. and, and the others like this one, I I never heard of. Um, yeah, on the website, pretty neat. Uh, they have a single barrel Texas whiskey that I'd be interested in. So if you see that out there, that's a sixty percent ABV. There's, one, there's so one up there. There's one. Oh, on the you shelf. have it? Yeah. yeah. I'll, so I like to I like to sample. That yeah. One. You know me, my proof. So that yes, sounds yes. pretty good. Um, yeah. I'll tell you, you know, these Texas uh, whiskeys. That color is dark. 
So this wow. is only a four year old too. It's four year old whiskey. So yeah, but that heat, you know, and that rick house where they store it, it, it it's it's kind of cool. Like what I like, you know, and the more I talk to some people around here, a lot of folks are saying like, you know, you do get that that flavor or that richness because because of the extreme temps. Yeah, kind of neat. Have to. Yeah. You know, so so like a four year old whiskey is not necessarily a bad thing. You know, I mean, and we've seen this now. It's not just like we've seen it with Garrison Brothers. We've seen it with yeah. uh, this one now. And, and there was another Texas one that we've had that we sampled uh, or you purchased or uh, somewhere I've had it. And it was I don't I don't have the bottle. But, uh, was it? It wasn't. It, it wasn't like Hickory Hill, was it? That that cat strength one? It might have been. Was it? Yeah. Was it the tan, tan label. Yeah, it was it was one that was I thought was a surprise that I was like, oh, let's try this, and it was really really good. Yeah, we did a review on that a long time ago, I think. But that right. again, it's it's you know, it's not just a one off. It's everything coming out of Texas is a little darker. Yeah. Um, you know, it's that, and it, it and it's like you said, it's aged only four years, uh, see four or five just, years. So, and you kind of see that with like even with like the smoke wagon out of Nevada, you see yeah. some of those dry arid climates that are they're producing, you know whiskey at a, at a you know different different level different age but like yeah. all those dark characteristics come into play which is kind of nice i'll tell you the nose on this is, is pretty pretty neat i've been i've been covering it up and spinning it and it, it it's changed three times already for me uh yeah. it's i don't i don't I get some sweetness, but I don't get like honey sweetness yet. It's uh, not like a super honey bomb. It's just like, to me, like, yeah. you'll, like I've been sipping on it. So like you kind of, you know, off the nose to me is like, is you get some from fruit, little fruit sweet, um, you know, a little bit of like, uh, you get the weeded, you get the, the sweet wheat, um, the grain yeah. sweetness, um, a little bit of like, even for me, a little bit happily. Um, and then like, you know, after you get a sip of it to me, then there's, there's that honey there. A what was the Nashville again on this? Uh, geez, I don't even know. Do you remember? Uh, I, I get a lot of, I get a lot of that like dry corn on the nose. I don't think I even looked it up. I can. Um, I don't know That's, if it was. Um, I don't think it was. Um, let's see, what was it? Bear with me a second. It's probably their small batch switched over and then aged in honey. I would think maybe. I think that's it, what it, I think that's what. What it was is. the proof on this again? One oh eight. 108. Oh, okay. So yeah. it might have been closer to that that um single barrel. You know. Uh it, it might, you know. Um yeah, it, you know, it doesn't I'm, I'm on their website too and I, I don't oh, yeah. see Yeah, I don't see they don't they don't uh This was like a I think this was like a a, a specific release. I don't think they do this like yeah, all the time. It's, not, it's it's a I think it's a, you know, a periodic release. It looks like, at least on their website, they're not disclosing what the mash bill is. But no, um, probably not. I do get that, like uh, that Texas corn. Uh, I don't, just like that buttery, buttery sweet, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know. Well, you know, hmm. I get it's it's a faint smell, but uh, the Garrison Brothers uh, bourbon whiskey honey one that they have, uh, uh, honeydew is what it's called. I oh, yeah, I've had that. I, what I'm getting on the nose, I get on the palate over there, uh, which is like that earthy clay corn, sweet corn it. type of smell to it. It's pretty neat. I like it. Uh, that's how, the way I describe it. I, okay. Totally, but I get that same. Uh, I get a lot of cherry, though, too, on this. Yeah. Apple. Uh, uh, fruit yeah. forward. A little, little bit of, uh, of apple. apple. Little bit of cherry. Yeah. Whoa. So I just took a sip. The first sip? The first, the first one? Uh. If, if if you said this was if it wasn't age and honey, I, I it's very faint. I don't I wouldn't know it. Um, Just a kiss. Yeah, it's not like that. It, it, it brings no, a little bit of sweetness, but not not like generic sweetness, artificial sweetness, like some yeah. of the other honeys uh, out there. Yeah. Hmm. Tasty, huh? That is good. I uh, figured you were gonna like this one. Pretty cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I like the concept too that you know I'm going to be sending you samples. Uh, yeah. So you're, you're drinking the same thing when we're talking, and vice versa. That's one of the yeah. things that you know people are probably wondering, like, well, how are they going to, you know, how are they going to talk about? We got a mule. We got a mule. So yeah, yeah, we, we, yeah, we will, mule. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll definitely be drinking some different things. Uh, but at the same point, we're going to be drinking the same stuff as well because I have samples yeah. for you that I got to ship out. Sure. Uh, 
Absolutely. Which I got to add to. I want to, um, there's another cigar yeah. batch I want to send you. Oh, cool. Uh, some stuff, nice. So you'll get a cigar batch. Uh, two of them, actually. Uh, Wheel Horse is one of them. Yeah. Uh, which I, I don't know. It's it's different. And I, and I like their stuff. I really do. I love the Wheel Horse stuff. But this one's a little, I almost feel like they, it's aged in two different barrels. Uh, finishes. Okay. And I think it's like they almost were like, oh, we aged in this barrel. It didn't taste good. So let's let's age it in another type of barrel and see what happens next. Let's doctor it up a little my, bit. What I got out of it could be totally wrong. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. But in my opinion, that's what it seemed like, you know. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so, Interesting. But, yeah. So uh, price point, roughly. Do you remember what this is? I think it was like 70. It was about Ooh. 70. Yes, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't mind spending 70 for, you know, for, for a craft, craft whiskey. Uh, especially local, yeah. Um, you know, 108 proof. You're you're really not. I mean, that's it's kind of the going rate. Is it? Um, yeah. yeah. There's a there's a lot. I mean, there's there's plenty of bargain stuff available here. It's yeah. The one we're gonna probably pour after this. I think that the early times will pour if you want. Yeah, um, that's right. We're gonna pour like that. Up, the up. internet's made that thing an allocated pour, and it's twenty three bucks here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's a bottle and bond. Early times bottle and bond. It's uh that's relatively cheap and 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 available here. Yeah, but yeah, this is actually pretty good. I, I would this. Uh, I mean, the price point is a little high, but in my opinion, but I think every you know that's the standard now. We're not used. We're not going to pay fifty, sixty dollars anymore for bottles, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think you're going to find like a, a finished whiskey at you know at one hundred eight for you know yeah much cheaper than sixty, seventy bucks. I'd pour this throughout the night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you could have a few, if you pour, I mean, it's not sweet. Where it's like, oh, I gotta have like one. It's not sweet at all. It's not. No. It's not. Uh, yeah, it's not that honey finished sweetness that I was expecting. Or um, no, it's it's not um, overly honey barrel. Only over honey flavor. It's not a dominant. It's yeah. Not a dominant flavor. It's just like a little touch of honey, which is nice. Now you had the um, you have the single barrel, right? You said I do. Do, do you see a big difference between this finish and the single barrel? Is it is like really noticeable yeah. sweetness? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's different. It's different. It is. Uh, cool. I actually have a another another one from them too. That's uh, I want to say it's a uh, I think maybe it's a Texas wheat, actually local grown wheat as yeah. well that I thought was really good. The finish is quick on this though. It is. Opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Smell in the glass afterwards, phenomenal though. Oh yeah, yeah. I might get a little tobacco in the in the, in the, uh, in the glass afterwards. Speaking of tobacco, that's another thing we're going to be adding too, right? We're going to we're going to do some cigars and, and bourbon cigar. as well, right? Maybe throw some pairings together. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, right. so whiskey, cigars, dogs, uh, dogs cigars, and dogs, cigars everything. And dogs. Yeah, a few of our favorite things. And anyone. Any suggestions from uh, the peanut gallery out there that, you know, we'll chime in and when we share posts and stuff like that, if you have bottles that you want us to talk about and or our topics for that matter, um, yeah. you know, we'll definitely. Kinda, we're kind of open. Not going to lock yep. into certain things, you know. Where'd like you just pour? Same, Same thing. thing. Yeah, no, a little, little pour, a little short pour. Yeah, you know, it's only two, well, it's almost three o'clock here. I know you're an hour. <laughs> Hey, you got a you got a head start on me. I got a head start on you. Mm. I'm gonna pour a little bit more. Not much though, because I want to I want to keep this. I want to try this again. Uh, yeah, I, I want to pair this actually with a cigar that I have. Um, one oh, yeah? of the acid brand cigars. You know that those are flavored. Uh, there's one that's got a little sweetness to it, so I want to see if it like evens it out or something. See what happens with it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a, a shot later tonight, well, maybe. Well, if you want, you want to jump to want to jump at early time. You want to take a little sip of that. Uh, yeah, let me let me just uh, finish this real quick. Okay. Yeah, I just uh, want a little. Bit, I, I think I want a little the more best thing glass. about this. What's that? I said I wanted just a little bit more in the glass. Yeah, yeah. Mine went down too smooth. <laughs> well, well, that happens with uh with us and whiskey, huh? Right. I did that last night. I was uh, down here setting some stuff up, testing again uh, our yeah. stream yard and yeah, yeah, and editing some stuff, and uh, I was pouring some heavy stuff. Um, you know, high proof stuff. You know, I, I went, I was going back and forth between, um, you know, here uh, on the Connecticut Bourbon uh, Facebook page. Uh, what did you pour? The, so, you know, have you been watching it where they were going over like the best bottles and stuff like that? I yes, know you, yes, yes. 
Yep. Yeah. I'm torn between uh, Bev King Harsh 1792, the foolproof, and um, Corey at uh, Wines and More, that barrel, Four Roses barrel. Um, they're, both cool. they're both really, really good. They're very, and they're very different. They are. They are different. Everything is totally different. But man, uh, those are two. Those are two of my favorite, probably for the year of 2023. But you know, I was going back and forth between those two, and it, you know, and I and love both. Stores. And you know, I love both stores. Yeah, but I think you, I think you see less really good four roses picks than you do see really good. 1792 foolproof fix. Because well, Corey, so. Corey from Wines and More had a great foolproof fix, too. Yeah. A couple years He's ago. Got another one out. Uh, yeah. That is, is, I got to go pick up. Um, and then and that's what I did, too. Then I picked a couple. I had two other 1792 for uh, I like picks. And uh, man, I found they're also good. I found a local um, one here. A local yeah. Guy. Yeah, I, I'm torn. I, I honestly, I for me, if I had to pick a bottle that I really that wowed me in 2023, I think it was that for pick wise in Connecticut. I, man, I, I'm talking a half a point difference. If it was like a scale of one to ten points or something like that, it, it, I'm talking very very slight difference and it pass. I, I like the Four Roses better. Okay, that's a tough yeah. call. I mean. It is. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know if I could pick one because it really depends on what kind of mood I'm in or what, what I feel like drinking. Because the flavor I mean, the profile pro is very different. The profile is different, but I mean, if, you know, just thinking store pick wise, um, and man, but that 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 was Harsh's first uh, 1792 pick too, right? Wasn't it? Um, or foolproof? I don't know. I thought it was. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Or was it the Eagle Rear? Was his first ever pick? First time ever that year. The oh, it's the first one last year, you mean? Yeah, it was a, one of them was his first time ever doing a pick um, from a certain. Yeah, I, I forget. I, I could be wrong, but I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, oh, it, might, it might have been the first Eagle Rare pick that he did. It might have been. That was really good, and I don't like yeah. Eagle Rare. I know. I know. Yeah. Right? I'll tell you, though, my since we're just talking about different things and stuff, and, and I already poured the uh, early time, so. Um, yeah. I got the early times right here. Check out these glasses too, by the way. New glasses I, like I got. Them. I do like Christmas. those. Uh, Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Claus uh, gave you. Megan uh, got me these for Christmas. So it's nice. a glen just with a you know with a little a stem, uh, blend. stem on it, so it's easier to hold. You know, so you won't spill it and fall over and shit. Yeah, you know, just you know, a little bit more to break, I guess, when I drop so that's it. Your, drop. That's the that's the early times bottle and bond. Yeah, that's like kind of a. I mean, for some reason, this is becoming. Allocated like people are hoarding this. What 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 would you pay for that? Twenty three dollars. Yeah, why is it? I mean, that, that's and, everywhere. And, and let's look how much look, look how much left the bottle. Yeah. I've been refraining from finishing this because I wanted to wait for you. You know what? What's the proof on that? Bottle the bottom hundred. A hundred. Okay, that's right. Bottom. Yep. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, it's a light color compared to what we just drank. It's I mean, great. It's an, it's nice an, nose yeah. though. Oh yeah, it's a it's a it's a bourbon bourbon. It's a regular you know. Easy drinking, 100 proof, bottle and bond, classic yeah. flavor. You know, nice, nice floral notes on that. I, There's some lights on it too. It sticks there. Like, you know, when I bought it, you know, people were talking about it. You saw some, you know, YouTube internet shit on it. And I was like, yeah. oh, I'm like, they're probably going to pop it up to be like something really better than it is. I was pleasantly surprised. I thought it was going to be like, a, you know, a, a budget pour that I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I bought it. Great. I don't love it, but yeah. I, I do like it. I've been contemplating buying it again, but I wanted to wait for you for, for this. Um, I'd buy this. It's mm -hmm. a, just a kind of classic, you know? Nothing extravagant, good flavors, easy to sip. I get a lot of, like, floral notes on it, rose petals, fresh, it's you know. Uh, it's light green flowers. It's it's yeah, um, interesting. It, it's floral, and then like towards the back, it comes a, a little bit of a little bit of spice, but nothing crazy. Yeah. No, very it's light, easy to drink. Yeah, easy. Like this is one you can drink all day long. Yeah, um, if you need to. Well, <laughs> why wouldn't you want? I mean, well, yeah, something. Well, he, he may, wants, maybe he having a snowstorm. <laughs> well, 
Well, who wants just one glass of bourbon? Unless you're pouring it to the top, uh, which I don't like to do because I want to have different samples or whatever like that. And some pours are heavier than others. It's, it's but, always uh, nice to have a little bit extra, a little bit something else. Yeah. But this um, is nice. This is good. You know what I like to do too? I like to smoke. I like to use like some of the uh, the smoking kit that I got. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? A little bit, add a little cherry or oak or, or I, think I, got, I think I have a cherry, oak, apple. Really? Apple and pear. I really? Wow. Cherry, oak, apple. Yeah, the fourth one, I think it, I think it was pear, but I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, pretty interesting. I've been messing around with it a little bit, um, the smoker. And I think it's better when you're doing old fashions and stuff like that, mixed drinks. I think so, too. When you're doing a straight whiskey, it, you're just adding a little bit of that smokiness, that char. Uh, sure that's what I know so far. Right? Yeah. If I didn't tell you this was a $23 bottle, would you know? Um, Good question. Let me see. I would say it was under under forty for sure. Yeah, yeah I'd say like a three dollar bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, I'm sure up here it's a little bit more. You know, it's going for more money, like fifty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> well, like all, I don't know what it is. People are like all of a sudden like hoarding it. I'm like, that's. I wonder if it won one. like some kind of award or something recently within the last year or so because. Yeah. It seems like know, every time, every time the whiskey we reuse go around and the awards come out, you know, and it, it, if someone gets like ninety two to to ninety six points or whatever like that, they get the gold little star circle, whatever it is, ribbon, boom, it jacks it up in price. You I know, think all the traders start, you know, going crazy, and that's it. I think some of the popular YouTube, you know, whiskey reviewers kind of, you know, put it out there, and they're like, this is really good, which which it is. I mean, I don't disagree, but like, yeah. I think I kind of boosted the level of where you know. Where people kind of, That's you know, need. you're right. <laughs> right. We, we need some companies to be like, hey, you know, support us, and sure, we'll give you cases <laughs> of this stuff. Um, here's a, here's a barrel. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, so uh, so yeah. your room that you have over there, uh, we're about yeah. twenty minutes in, so we'll we'll end probably about in like what five? Yeah, minutes. yeah, absolutely. Under thirty. Um, you, the so your your room that you have there is uh, obviously your whiskey cabinet so behind back you. Here, yeah, stuff. I got. How many bottles bill. do you have currently? Do you want me to disclose that? Well, yeah. There's your, about wife, a, your, your wife's not going to watch this, is she? Probably not. There's there's probably yeah. about a hundred and under one hundred and fifty. I'll put it that way. And, and like I would say, knowing you, I would say ninety percent or more are opened. I yeah, about that. But yeah, yeah about eighty five are open. There's a couple I'm saving for a special occasion. Are they're backups? Yeah, you know, that aren't open. Yeah. So yeah. No, I kind of like to work my way around things. Yeah, I, I'm at like five bottles. That's it. <laughs> you five, five. That's all I can see. Yeah, I can only count five out. back there. The, right? the, the bottles behind me are are just that's a, a mm. drop screen. It's props. They're props. Yeah. <laughs> it's apple Luckily, juice. you got a shelf though. You can't see so. <laughs> um, no shit. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm 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 north of your number for sure. No, um, I know you're. I, but I, I looked at my number, at what I had, and and uh, I post. Someone asked me, you know, for a picture of it, and they're like, "This is what I like to see." You know, you have a lot of bottles, but they're all open. I, I have a lot of open bottles. Um, it's funny, it's which is funny. I think that's what it should be. If you want to collect I mean, it, collect it, but open it's, it, and drink it. it. It's funny. Like we were, you know, I was having a conversation with somebody here. We were at, uh, like I was telling you, like, every Wednesday night there's a, a local cigar shop, and they do like a, a whiskey, you know, like whiskey Wednesday. Everyone yeah. brings a bottle, they put it on the counter, we shares and pours and has a couple of cigars. And we we're having a conversation. I was like, all these people like like to collect, yeah. but they don't open. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, why That's why cool. go out of your way to get you know a great bottle of whiskey and not open it and drink it yeah. and enjoy it? What the hell? Like, you know, and I and I get the, the special occasion bottle. Like yeah. I did it myself. Listen, the, the, the Russell 13. I waited until yeah. I was moving. You and I had it, we had it together. Like I, I wasn't gonna share it, you know, with you know, here's anybody. Like it was a that was, occasion, and man, I, you brought up a bottle that just is amazing too. By the way, that, that's probably awesome. I didn't, I wasn't able to get a bottle of that. Um, that was batch one, three. amazing. Russell Thirteen batch one, you know, and, and we both really like Russell's and Wild Turkey. Like, and that's yeah. you know that to me was like the right occasion to open it up, to enjoy it, have a great memory. You know, yeah. 
and I'm going to pour it occasionally, but I'm not going to pour it for just, you know, for the hell of it, yeah. you know, but like I, I get waiting for something special for a certain bottle, but like open it and drink it for Christ's sakes. Yeah. I mean, I agree. Um, and I think in the beginning about a year or two ago, I was, I was, I was thinking the opposite, uh, hoard it, hold it. But then I'm like, why, why? I, I could, I can, unfortunately, chance I'll never be able to drink it. Something God forbid happens. Um, <laughs> you know, I, but I do, and again, I do have a couple bottles that are, I'm not opening yet, but like you sure. mentioned, I'm waiting for special occasions, you know, or, I got back, or a backup or a backup. I got on my daughter time. and my son, you know, I'm, I want them to, you know, maybe uh, first grandkid marriage, whatever sure. like that for them or something like that. So I, I want to open it with them. I want to enjoy it with them. Um, so yeah, there's a few, but pretty much everything's open. Um, which I appreciate yeah. that person, you know, asking about it. And, um, uh, it was, it was, I'm on, uh, on Facebook now, there's a Massachusetts, uh, bourbon group as well. Okay. Similar to one, cool. that we, you know, that you yeah. have to text with ones that you sent me and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, and so I'm on there and someone asked, you know, you know, a question and I showed them and, you know, it was nice that they appreciated my collection that I actually opened it where he's seen other collections and it's just like, you know, oh, collecting nothing. Cool. Yeah. You know, they're flipping bottles, maybe, which I can't stand. Um, but you know, to each its own. It's it, you know, it is what it is. Um, but <laughs> yeah, there was an eagle rare that sat in your collection for about ten years. That, that <laughs> I still have one. First, it's still there. <laughs> it is the first eagle rare bottle I ever bought. But uh, the, the second bottle, bottle, which was uh, Bev King Harsh's, uh, pick, that was totally different, though. That one actually mm -hmm. is amazing, and so that one's like almost empty. And the first one I bought years ago is like, like a this much left in it, and it's been sitting like that for years. Yeah, I, I give those to people I don't like, uh, Brandon, <laughs> Brandon, uh, yeah, <laughs> those, those type of people, uh, right? But that, yeah, that, yeah, it's just weird. I don't know. Um, hmm. That eagle rear, just I don't understand it. It's it's the same mash bill, my favorite everyday drinker, Buffalo Trace, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. It just aged a little longer. I think it's just that 10 year age. It just something changes it's, it a little bit for something me. Strange. It is. You know, well, we've been running long, you know, yeah. and, and, I, and I'm glad we had a chance to come back and and, and yep. start doing this again. It, it, it's we enjoy it. No matter who watches, we still enjoy it. So, yeah. like, you know, I, I think our biggest message is enjoy whiskey, enjoy it with friends and family, enjoy it with people you, you love, and, and you know what? And share memories, you know. Like it's funny, I just and on this note, like you know, I, I went to the cigar bar a few weeks ago mm -hmm. and I brought like four bottles of, of decent stuff, good stuff that I, you know, yeah. I, I wanted to share. It was, it was right before new year's. I was like, let me open some, some cool stuff. And they were like, well, well, you know, a couple people were kind of surprised. I brought some really good bottles with me. I was like, listen, right. I'm like I bought it to drink. I'm like, I didn't buy it to hoard. I'm right. like, you know, you're going to come up and go, Hey, I tried this. It, it, and, and a few of them were picked from here from Connecticut that yeah. I said, Hey, I'm going to bring them down there. I'm going to share them with people from Texas and they're going to go, Oh, I, I tried this. And like, it's you know one off. You're not going to try it anywhere else. Yeah. So it was, it was a cool memory. So like, I, I, you know, I want to, I want to tell people that follow us and, and, and listen to our stuff. It's about sharing. It's about making memories and having a good time. You know, there's no like right or wrong answer when you're talking about something, just drink it and enjoy it and have a good time. Yeah. No, I think you, <laughs> That's a great way to end the segment here in yeah, our first video yeah. uh, of the new year is just share your whiskey, have a good time, make memories. No doubt. Uh, no yeah. doubt. It, it's it. Hey, do me a favor. Uh, show the picture of the um, the uh, Lone Elm again, Honey Barrel one, so people can see it. Uh, so if they see it out there, pick it up. Because I recommend this, actually. That's my recommendation um so that's kind of like a uh, whoa, all right yep yeah, over there go that way that there is. you go perfect yeah so interesting and it's a cool yeah. label cool so label yeah up, pick it up and, the I mean, it, it, and it's got some good color to it too it really does yeah. no i i think the colors uh that's what really wowed me on that for bottle four, for a four-year bottle yeah not bad cool not bad. well on that note well, i'm gonna I'm gonna go in the garage and gas up the uh, snowblower. I think, you know, <laughs> we're gonna have to use it this year. I'm gonna put my bikini on and go outside for a little while because it's just really yeah. nice out. <laughs> You're gonna go outside. I'm gonna we won't, we won't record that part though. <laughs> Please don't. We want followers. We we want more. Followers. Right, right. No, but I appreciate taking the time. Uh, I know you're yeah. an hour off. Uh, difference between us. Yeah. Uh, you know this is gonna be fun. 
we're gonna we're gonna have some fun doing this and we're gonna learn as we go um and, no doubt. Yeah, see no what doubt. happens so cheers right. to you Pete. Cheers, everybody thank thanks. you thanks cheers for everybody. And, thanks. Uh, and we're back we're back yeah bigger and better than ever thanks cheers